Hello Aries, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed. Um, and we'll jump right into your reading. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Aries. For Aries, here, what does Aries need to know? Let's look at your connection first. What's going on for Aries in love? Now, of course, this is a general love reading Aries, so it will not resonate with everyone 100%. Take what resonates for you, for your situation. Here we have the Seven of Wands. What's going on in this connection between Aries and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. Well, there's some resistance here. There's a guarded energy here with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords for sure. But why? Why the Seven of Wands with this Queen of Swords? What's going on here for Aries? Aries, you could be dealing with an air sign or a an earth sign. Ooh. Something to do with home, family, marriage. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. What's going on here? Three of Swords. Yeah, there could be a third party situation here or just there's been heartbreak in the past. So now there's a guarded energy. So what's with this Queen of Pentacles? going on with this Queen of Pentacles. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Someone has withdrawn to think, figure something out. Queen of Wands. Wow, look at all these queens. Someone's thinking about what they want to do, what they desire, what they're passionate about. I don't know why my dogs have to be so loud. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Interesting. This is someone that's just thinking, thinking. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They're thinking about what to do. Have the Eight of Wands after that. What to say. Very interesting. I'm picking up, it's almost like you're, there's like a wall between you with the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the Seven of Wands. There's like a wall here, a distance. Tell me more about this connection. What do we need to know about this connection, Spirit? Eight of Wands. Communication, action, direction here with the Eight of Wands. It's like someone's thinking about what to communicate because of whatever barrier this is. Some of you are dealing with a person who could already have a connection or a marriage or a family or perhaps someone's family is as an interference here. There's an interference here for sure. So let's see. Let's see what's going on between you and this person. Spirit, tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. Aries, I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energy if it resonates more. Tell me about Aries. What's Aries' energy in this connection? Standing firm. Yeah, you are very defensive, guarded, resistant. There's resistance here. If it's not resistance, it's courage. We'll see. But for some reason, I'm thinking it's like, like, I just heard not participating. <clears throat> I 
Like there's no actual movement here or connection. Tell me if that's resonating for you down in the comments. Tell me about this person that Aries is thinking about connecting with. What are their energies at this time? Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. There's desire here. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. And bottom of the deck, unhealthy attachments. So you could be dealing with someone that's already in a commitment here. But there's chemistry with you or something to do with you. Let's see. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Aries is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Renewal, clean slate and healing. Interesting. So this person could be wanting to renew something here. Heal a connection with you. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? You matter to me. I'm not giving up. Okay. I feel like that you matter to me is reassurance. Maybe you don't feel like this person, like you mean anything to this person. And I feel like that's incorrect. I don't have enough room. <laughs> I'm just going to put these right here on the top. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to be using um, different decks for both you and, and this person. You're each going to get a deck. So let's start with you. What deck do I want to use with you? This one. Spirit, tell me more about Aries. What's going on with Aries in this connection? What's Aries thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection with this other person? Okay, we have strength. Leo energy. What else? What's going on with, with Aries? Again, I just get this sense of you being like a fighter, kind of like a <laughs> oh, Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. We did have the Queen of Pentacles that showed up. I feel like you're doing very well for yourself, Aries. Like you got, I don't know, you're you're, you're doing very well, career wise, finances wise, something like that. Maybe this person realizes this or no has noticed this about you. What's going on with Aries here? Nine of Wands, more guarded energy. And then the Emperor, there you are Aries. Again, you're very powerful. You're very powerful. I feel like you have, and then I have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So maybe there was a departure here in this connection. Maybe you walked away or this other person walked away. But I feel like you're very strong, very, um, I don't know, like a, like a force. You're like a force to be reckoned with here. And it's like you're fiercely protective of yourself. Maybe because you were hurt. What's with this emperor? You could also be um, wanting something here. The emperor is a doer. Why is the emperor here? judgment so you could be um making a, a judgment call here or you could also be wanting to have some sort of do-over tell me about the, the emperor please why is the emperor here yeah ace of wands 
I feel like you you might be wanting a new beginning here. Just like this other person, I feel, is thinking about renewal as well. But why the, why the guarded energy? Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is this here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Maybe you've been through a lot in your life and it's made you into this really strong person. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> You're very protective of yourself, Aries. I feel like you found your value. Yeah, the Empress. You know your worth. You've done a lot for yourself. Maybe this is how your person is picturing you as someone who is um, hard to read, hard to shake. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. The world. Interesting. I just heard want it all. And there's the Empress again. And the Fool. So whatever new beginning this is that you maybe secretly desire, you want it to be everything. Like you don't want scraps. It needs to be what you imagined and more. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up. So let's look at your person here. I feel like your person's all over the place, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to use this deck for them, the vice versa. Tell me more about this person that Aries is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Well, they're motivated because I have the I'm not giving up card with them. Tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies? We have the Five of Wands, King of Cups, Justice. Wow, Libra energy. What can you tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with? We have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Well, the emotion is here with the King of Cups. Now this Five of Wands, I feel like this is the drama or conflict that, I don't know, I'm picking up it's not with you. I mean, it could be, but it's almost like there's some other battle here. We'll, we'll clarify and see. I get one more for this person. The chariot, cancer energy. So it's very interesting. This is someone who is focused, especially with the page of swords and the justice card and the chariot down here. I mean, this is someone that's very focused. They know exactly what they want to do. Um, and they're moving in, in a certain direction here of their choosing. Okay, let's start with this Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about? Why is the Five of Wands here for this person? The Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Wands? Ace of Swords, yeah. It's like someone's cutting something out. Whatever this drama is, it's like they're addressing it, being free of it. And there's the Fool at the top of the deck here. I have the Fool and then what's at the bottom? And the world, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. <clears throat> Very interesting. So tell me about Justice. Let's look at Justice. Why is Justice here? This one, Queen of Pentacles. 
The Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles, sorry. I have to turn them over because sometimes they look... This could... Anyway. King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. And then Justice. Now, now that I have the King of Pentacles and Justice, I'm thinking Divorce. That's for some of you, for sure. Because the King of Pentacles, for me, is already married, typically. Uh, there's fear or an attachment here uh, with the Eight of Swords. Tell me more about Justice. Seven of Pentacles. There's probably fear here because there's no knowing where this is headed, how this is going to turn out. They could be waiting for the results of something for a long time. So if this is a divorce, that makes sense. Two of Swords, indecision or a difficult decision. So this is a difficult decision for your person. I feel like this is someone that's already in some sort of attachment, excuse me, or some sort of situation where their stability could be rocked here. What's with this Page of Swords? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Why is the Page of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Balance. Why the Page of Swords? Six of Swords. This is someone doing research. And once again, I have the Fool on one side here, the Three of Wands, the Magician and the High Priestess. So this is someone that is manifesting in secret or making something happen. And it's about leaving something behind and having a new beginning here. And now with the Chariot, this is someone leaving something behind and then I have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Tell me about the Chariot, please. Yeah, the Two of Cups. This is someone leaving... Uh, possibly a connection. And we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups here. Tell me more about the Chariot. Yeah, the Tower. This is someone that's leaving a connection. This is very specific reading. So, you know, I apologize if this isn't resonate, resonating with everyone. But um, this is definitely a, a third party situation. If it's not like another marriage, it's like a family situation or like a situation where they've been stuck in for a while. Okay, so where is all of this headed? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> where is all of this headed? Let me just clear the board up as best I can here. Six of Swords, right when I open the deck. On the other side, I have the Seven of Swords. So it's like someone's literally running away here. All right, Spirit, tell me, where is all of this headed in the near future for Aries and this connection? I'm going to pick a few cards. Where is all of this headed? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. Is all this headed for Aries? Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of conflict here uh, in the near future. Still, like, I don't think this is, yeah. It's going to be like a waiting period, I feel, for there to be a new beginning. I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel an offer will still be extended with the Page of Pentacles. It might take a little bit of time. We'll see what this Three of Wands is about. Is it, you know, waiting for something to happen or waiting for for a, return, for a, a response or something to come in? We did have the Three of Wands that came out, I think, with the, uh, excuse me, the Justice card, I believe it was. So, yeah, um, there could be, you know, a little bit of a waiting period. Now, this Five of Swords, I feel it's whatever this tower situation is. I feel like that they're still going to bring about some sort of conflict. Thank you so much for watching Aries. I hope this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, 
Um, it really helps the channel grow. It's a free way of supporting the channel. I appreciate anyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me a kind comment. Thank you so much. Um, feel free to leave me a comment, say hi, or if this resonated for you. Sometimes, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself because sometimes I do. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who says hi, who leaves kind comments. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.